how do you, how do you, and I, and I know you've answered these questions so you can hear your teeth crack, but how do you prevent monopoly? You've got to have constraints on monopoly. Okay. And isn't United Airlines too big? And look what happened when they went on strike. And should Pan Am absorb National Airlines, we're going to have three airlines when it's all over, and we're all going to be beholden to them. They're, everybody's going to be impersonal. You can see it now on the airlines. It, Nobody it, looks it, you in the eye anymore. At, and look. they're giving paper cups in first class. <laughs> How's that for elitism? <laughs> but, well, personally, I don't see any objection to paper cups. <laughs> but let's go back. The problem with the kind of statement you're, you're making is to distinguish what's true from what's not true. The plain fact is that the main restriction on the number of airlines has been the Civil Aeronautics Board. From the time the Civil Aeronautics Board took over control of the airlines in the 1930s until now, until the deregulation, they did not authorize a single new trunk line. Because the number of trunk lines was less. Because they were owned by the airlines who didn't want more competition? Of course. Now, So the government became then an agency to help the existing airlines not to have exactly, to compete. Exactly, exactly. Now, what happened with deregulation? You, you filled every seat in the airplane. And you had new airlines come in. The number of airlines has gone up, not down. It is true that there are some proposals to merge United and National. But they're Pan Am also and Pan Am and National, I'm sorry. But there are also a bunch of new airlines that are coming out. Here's World Airways, whom you never heard of before, that's offering these cheap fares. Look at Freddie Laker. Freddie Laker broke the transatlantic uh, uh, monopoly. So the fact is that the best protection of the consumer, the best offense against monopoly, is, let me put it another way. There's an old saying if you want to catch a thief, you set a thief to catch him. If you want to catch a businessman monopoly, you set another businessman to break it down. You don't send okay. a government civil servant after him. The most effective anti-monopoly legislation you could possibly have would be free trade. Okay.